Russian President Vladimir Putin, who extended his one-man rule by six years after clinching a predictable landslide win in the presidential elections without any serious competition, thanked the people who had come out to vote, saying that the results of the election will allow the Russian society to consolidate and become stronger. He also slammed Russia's top rival, the United States, as undemocratic and warned Western countries of a World War III if their troops entered Ukraine. Putin won 87.8% of the vote, the highest ever result in Russia's post-Soviet history, according to an exit poll by Polster, the Public Opinion Foundation. The outcome means that the 71-year-old president is set for a new six-year term that will see him overtake former Soviet leader Joseph Stalin and become Russia's longest-serving leader for over 200 years if he completes it. Most of Putin's opponents are either imprisoned, dead or have fled abroad. Nationwide turnout was 74.22% when the polls closed, surpassing 2018 levels of 67.5%. According to election officials, thousands of Putin opponents protested at noon at polling stations inside Russia and abroad, and 74 people were arrested on Sunday in the country, according to OVD Info. Speaking on the election results on Monday morning, Putin said, it high turned out rate in election and high percentage of people who voted for Putin has to do with the dramatic events that the country is going through. It has to do with the current situation, with the fact that we have to literally fight with weapons that interests of our citizens, our people, and create a future for the comprehension, sovereign and secure development for the Russian Federation and our fatherland. The United States, Germany, the United Kingdom and other nations have said that vote was neither free nor fair due to the imprisonment of political opponents, censorship. Putin had spent years ruthlessly su suppressing the Russian opposition and limiting resources for independent media. Communist candidate Nikolai Karitnovov finished second with just under 4%. Newcomer Vladislav Devonkov third and ultra-nationalist Leonid Slutsky fourth, partial results suggested.